Alright, let's see if we can't look at a couple uh, examples of how to find our reference angles. So, first angle we have is 240 degrees, so the first thing we have to do is make sure our angle is between 0 and 360, which as you can see, this one is. So what we're going to do is we're going to figure out what quadrant we're located in. So, rotating, it's more than 90, more than 180, less than 270. So we're going to terminate in quadrant 3. The rules for quadrant 3 are you're going to take your angle, 240 degrees, and subtract from it 180 degrees. So when you do that, you're going to figure out that your reference angle, I'm just going to use an abbreviation, your reference angle will have a 60 degree value. So this angle right here will be 60 degrees. Looking at the next one, negative 20 degrees. Well, negative 20 is not within 300 and uh, 60 and 0 degrees. So I'm actually going to find a coterminal angle first. So I'm going to go ahead and add those together. When I do that, I get 340. Okay, so to find our reference angle, we need to figure out which quadrant we're located in. Well, 340 is going to be a little bit different. So if we rotate, 340 would be right here. Now, once you kind of get a little bit more used to what a reference angle represents, you might be able to do this uh, kind of without going through all the steps. Since we're going to terminate in quadrant 4, you can see we're going to take uh, 340 and subtract it from 360. So as you can see, our reference angle in this case is going to end up being 20 degrees. It should make sense because we're trying to figure out this angle right here. So if I've rotated 20 degrees into this quadrant, then that angle is going to be 20 degrees. Just realize this though, your reference angles always have to be positive and they always have to be between 0 and 9 degrees or 0 and pi halves. 400 degrees, I can't use 400 degrees, at least not for the rules. Uh, if you think about it, you could actually, uh, whoops. You can actually figure it out. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract 360 from this. And when I do that, I will get 40 degrees. And 40 degrees will actually terminate in the first quadrant. So terminate right here. So anytime you're in quadrant 1, uh, your angle is your reference angle. So our reference angle will be equal to 40 degrees. And then lastly, we have 135 degrees. Well, 135 degrees is between 0 and 360. Uh, it's more than 90, but less than 180, so we terminate here. And then this is our reference angle. So we're going to find it by basically taking 180 and subtract from it 135. And when you do that, you should get your reference angle to be 45 degrees. Now we're going to look at a couple of radian measures and uh, see what uh, what we can do. Now reference angles. Now we're going to look. We're going to eventually do this for what they call to try to find exact values where they're going to be very specific things, and they should either ha either have a 30, uh, a 45 degree angle, or a 60 degree reference angle. But what uh, I'm going to tell you right now is a little bit of a help. If your denominators, okay. If your denominators if your denominators are three, four, and six, reference angles for radians is pretty easy. If they're not three, four, six, then you actually have to use the rules that I showed you on the other page about how to calculate your reference angle. Okay. Uh, Here's how it works. I'm going to do these real quick and we'll see if we can't figure it out. The reference angle for 70 pi thirds is pi thirds. The reference angle of negative 13 pi fourths is pi fourths. Make sure it's positive. You always have to have a positive reference angle. And 1,495 pi six, the reference angle is pi over six. So if your denominators are three, four, or six, all you have to do to find your reference angle, it's going to be pi over your denominator. So kind of keep that in mind. Easy way to find reference angles for radians. However, if it's not 3, 4, 6 in your denominator, then you have to go back and use the rules that we would figure out uh, that I showed you earlier for reference angles for radians.